Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. I apologize for this really cute angle that I have, but it's the best I can do because I am not a camera man setter upper. I don't know. Um, so last month we did Vlogtober and I kind of struggled with it. I didn't really consistently upload, but I uploaded a lot. And now I'm kind of missing it. Like I feel like I need to be uploading more. And if I go a few days without uploading, it feels like I'm going a few months without uploading. And I don't have any reseller content for you guys. And my channel's not completely reseller. Every once in a while I throw in some randomness, which is what we're doing today is some randomness. I have some apples that I need to bake because they're starting to go bad. They're getting a little soft and I don't want them to go to waste. These are really expensive apples. So I figure if I have to bake them, which I don't feel like doing, but if I have to do it, I'm going to force you guys to do it with me. Okay, so I'm going to go over the supplies and the ingredients I'm using. You don't necessarily have to use what I'm using, but this is what I'm doing. Um, you're going to need like a big cake pan. It doesn't matter. I just have a glass one, so that's what I'm using. And the size of it depends on how much you are going to bake. A knife, preferably one that's sharper than mine, but it's what I'm working with. Spoon. The sharpest, scariest peeler you can find. Just kidding. That's just what I have on hand. Seriously, I have nightmares about this thing. It is so sharp. It's for peeling um, hard skinned fruits and vegetables. And this thing is crazy sharp. Crazy sharp. Um, some aluminum foil. And lastly, for equipment, a cutting board. For food ingredients, apples. I have three really big apples and they are Honeycrisp Rainier apples and these are really really good apples. Very sweet. Perfect baking apple. Some ground cinnamon. Um, some ghee. You can use butter as well but I eat mostly a Whole30 lifestyle. You'll just have to Google it. I'm not getting the no whole 30. I'm not getting that whole spiel. But ghee, it is clarified butter. You okay? My dog just burped. <laughs> Appetizing. So I like to use ghee. And now she's hey, can you not drink while I'm trying to make a video? No? Okay. Hey, okay. We're good. Um, some sweet potatoes, potatoes, um, and lastly, some apple cider. You can use whatever brand you want. Again, this one is just Whole30 approved, technically. Technically, you're not supposed to drink juices, but anyway, not getting into it. Oh, and I forgot to show you this. I picked this up at a thrift store, and I'm going to try it out today. It is called Tater Mitts. We're going to try and peel our potatoes with mittens. Fun. So hopefully we don't have to use this scary thing. But honestly, this is just as scary. It's like glass embedded in these gloves and you rub it on your potato. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box and see what we are <laughs> dealing with. Aw, oh, I ripped the box. Do, 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 do. Ba, na, 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 da, da, na. We don't need directions. We got this. Oh my, okay. <laughs> what else we got in here? What are you? Maybe we do need directions. Let's just see what the stick is. The stick is, I have no idea. There's no picture of it. Why are you even in this box? Okay. Well, that's just a bonus extra prize that we got. It's this plastic stick. So I'll keep that safe. Okay, so here's the gloves. They are just as scary as I thought they were gonna be. Not glass, but like, it's rubber? 
Yeah, it's rubber, but doesn't it look like the pebbles in like a fish tank? Um, at the pet stores, they recycle their rocks and they send them off to this factory and they glue them onto these gloves. And now I'm gonna go rub them all over my potatoes. Alrighty, so that was about an hour and a half at 350 degrees. And here's what we're left with. Um, I don't think it should take everybody an hour and a half, but I like my potatoes like really, really soft and mushy because I smush it up when I eat it and I kind of eat it like, um, like cream of wheat or oatmeal. 
type of texture. So yeah, here's the finished product out of the pan. We will serve it up and I will show you how I eat it. Okay, here's our final product as you saw in the last clip. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it whole when I eat it this time. Sometimes I like to mush it up, like I said, because I'm a weirdo, I don't know. It just tastes good mushed up. Um, next, I'm gonna top it with coconut milk. I like the Imperial Dragon brand, it's my favorite. Um, it's sugar-free, organic, I believe. Oh, there it says, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and dairy-free. I rarely consume dairy, so this is a good substitute if you don't like dairy. And personally, I think if you have some in the fridge, I put this in my coffee in the morning, so that's what this is left over from. Yeah, I use this put it in the fridge and it gets a thicker consistency. I like to refer to this as my ice cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a scoop or two or three and put it on top as if it was ice cream or whipped topping. And I personally like the taste. If I was you, I would try a little bit before you go ahead and dump it all over your dessert. Um, but yeah, that's, that is my baked apple. I call it sweet potato soup because I smoosh it up. So that is it for this video. This is actually one of my favorite foods. It's really healthy, it's Whole30, it's clean, it's delicious. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this video. Sorry, there's no Poshmark related content. I do have some Poshmark stuff on my channel if you wanna go check that stuff out. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Feel free to visit my Poshmark closet at Valamilk. It'll be linked down below. Also find me on Instagram, it's my personal page little bit of everything. Also, if you enjoyed my video, go check out my friends. There is Lynn at Here's Lynn, Kimmy at One Thread at a Time, Candice at Your Best You, Kaya at Kaya EV, and Ellison at Thrifted Flipper. So I will have everybody linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Test one, tater mitts versus soap. Test one, tater mitt versus bar of soap was a success. The bar of soap stayed in my tater mitted hand. So if you have trouble holding on to your bar of soap in the shower, I highly recommend buying these. I purchased mine for $1.99, um, but if you buy them brand new, well these were new in box, but if you buy them from like a website, it's only $19.99. You're welcome. Test number two. Spider-Man hand. I'm not sure if that was a success or not. I'm not sure what exactly was supposed to happen. Did web shoot out? No. Did I feel like Spider-Man? No. Did I have fun? No. Would I do it again? Maybe.